Black leaders from around the nation were in Washington today, partly to complain about the treatment black elected officials receive from the FBI and other law enforcement agencies. Eyewitness News correspondent Bruce Johnson reports. Allegations aimed at black elected officials was the major concern of many blacks who gathered in Washington this week for the Democratic National Committee meetings. I was removed as Secretary of State just at the time that I was going to be named national president of all the secretaries of state. I wasn't even charged, but I was removed with a charge of uh, misconduct in office without a hearing, without any kind of uh, uh, legal um, procedures. If an FBI office received an anonymous charge, unfounded, unsubstantiated whatsoever, that major investigations have taken place uh, based upon nothing more uh, uh, solid than that. Lieutenant Governor Merv Dimely, Lieutenant Governor George Brown, C. Delores Tucker, uh, Charles Diggs, Shirley Chisholm, all of these people were charged. Congressman Clay, half of the congresspersons of color in this country have been charged and not one of them have been proven guilty. Black leaders are convinced that there exists a conspiracy to discredit them, an argument which was strengthened by recent discovery that the FBI solicited the assistance of an unnamed black to help discredit the late civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. I can say unequivocally from the information I've seen, the files that I have, that the person involved in my judgment was not Roy Wilkins. Who was the person? Uh, I don't know who the person was, but in my judgment, it clearly was not Roy Wilkins. It was the FBI Martin Luther King incident that prompted Pritchard, Alabama Mayor A.J. Cooper to come to Washington today for a special meeting with FBI Director William Webster. Cooper is head of the National Conference of Black Mayors. It was just yesterday that Cooper was indicted by a grand jury. He's charged with demanding kickbacks from an Alabama construction firm. I was named in a one-count indictment, and uh, like all muddy water, it's going to have to flow under the bridge, and we're going to have to uh, see whether it flows muddy or clear. But uh, as John says in the Bible, judge not things by their appearance. Uh, and I'm confident that uh, we will be quite successful in a most defendable manner. Mayor Cooper says that on Monday at a press conference in Atlanta, he'll unveil completely the agreements reached today with the FBI here in Washington. This is Bruce Johnson reporting for Eyewitness News.